Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, I'm Jeremy from JK Fit. I want to thank you for tuning in to another video. I know your day's jam packed with events and work and everything else going on, and just for you to take the couple minutes to check out this video is a lot some days. So I want to thank you, first of all, for your time and, and tuning in to this video. Today, I kind of want to talk about morning rituals or maybe even the lack of morning rituals and how it affects and kind of sets up your day and sets the tone for your day. You know, I, I've noticed in the past, I, I've been through things about two years ago, I, I tore a pec and tore my adductor and things complete, my day completely changed. And then about a year after we had a, had our baby girl, which was, you know, the most amazing thing in my life. Um, but life completely changed, you know, when you're, when you're more on your own or even, even as a couple, you don't, you don't have any kids or anything. The, the way you go about your day completely changes hundred percent. You know, I used to think that I had a lot of, I didn't have any time before, but now with, with three dogs and, and full-time job, even more than full-time job. And, and then also with the new addition of our baby girl, Callie Marie, uh, man, if I could go back to what I had before when I didn't think I had time, I'd have tons of time then, but it's all perspective. So, you know, one of the biggest things that I found about how my day went or didn't go the way I wanted it to go was all about my morning ritual. How did I, how did I start the day out? How did I wake up? You know, back whenever I tore my pec and I was working full time and Kristen was also working full time, you know, it's, we were just dead tired all the time because we got into a bad habit. You know, we're not one of those couples that have been in shape our whole entire life and that's all we've ever known. We've, we've had our times where we've been in great shape. We've had our times where we haven't been in great shape. We haven't been, you know, the examples that we want to because we put other people ahead of us. We've, we've had other priorities in our life and I'm not saying that it was the right one at the time, but we just had different priorities. And, you know, now we're, we're working on putting all the priorities, aligning them correctly to make sure that we not only take care of our clients, but we're also taking care of ourselves just as much. So that way in the future, we can continue to take care of our clients at the level we want to. Um, but back to, back to how we kind of started our day back then, you know, we were so exhausted and we just thought that, uh, you know, the alarm would go off, beep, beep, beep. We'd hit the alarm, hit the snooze, hit it again, hit it again as many times as we could until it was time to go time to get up. And we just had to get up at that time to make it into work. And we just thought that by sleeping in as much as we could, it would make us feel better because we we're so exhausted all the time. And you know, it seems like whenever you're in that rush, whenever you wake up and you're already rushing to get started in your day, I don't know about you guys, but in my day, it seems like I can never catch up the whole day long. So it's, it's not only am I rushing to get to work, but it seems like everything else I'm rushing to do. I'm rushing to my next client. I'm rushing to get my meals and I'm rushing to take care of, of all the different errands I have to do today. It's just rush, 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 rush until the night comes and then I'm exhausted and I go back to sleep. I try to sleep in, hit the snooze and it's just continual. It's rush, 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 rush. And that's the most horrible feeling, just always rushing to do the next thing in life. Always, always hurrying to get to the next thing to knock it out so you can get to the next thing. Um, so what I found was, you know, the times that I got up early, even, even if I had to get up at, at 4.30 to be where I needed to be on time to my, to my appointment, you know, if I got up at, you know, 30 minutes earlier than I needed to, to be on time, just so I could wake up and start the day on my own terms. That's what I think is the, is the key is, you know, starting your day on your own terms, not letting the, the errands and everything you have to do, just the buzz in life dictate how your day goes it's you starting your day out on your own terms so whether that's getting up and doing cardio which i, I made a video earlier talking about you know cardio is just it's going to make you feel better it's going to it's going to make your health better it's going to make your relationships better it's going to help you metabolize foods better it just sets the precedent for the day to be good um but it doesn't have to be cardio whether it's prepping your food in the morning you know whether it's it's uh if you're religious whether it's reading your bible you know spending a few minutes with god whether it's just sitting in complete silence for a few minutes, you know, that's, that's big. When you, when you got kids you got everything else going in life to be able to get up in the morning and just hear nothing and relax and kind of start out slow and then get the day go, going, that makes a complete difference in your day. So whatever it may be for you, 
I encourage you just by getting getting up a couple minutes earlier so you don't have to rush to get everything you need in so you can you can you know move a little slower if you have to enjoy a cup of coffee but start the day on your own terms so that you set up your day to you're in a good mood you're you're excited about your day you know you can en- you can enjoy your day it's not just about surviving day in and day out it's you got to enjoy what you're doing you got to have passion in your life if you're not passionate if you're not happy if you're not enjoying what you're doing it's going to show and you're always going to feel like you're just not quite there you're just surviving doing what you can to make it day in and day out so i encourage you if you know try it out for a week and i promise you you'll feel 10 times better your stress levels will be down the things that do pop up in life that are stressful you'll be able to handle a lot better because it's not constant stress constant rush so um let let me know what you think uh i want to keep on pumping these videos out as you can see they're not completely polished or perfect i just i try to speak from my heart you know and this was something that was on my mind this morning um, our day was a little different getting up you know it snowed here the roads were bad the three our three dogs were barking um kristen's not feeling that good i kind of i think i got her sick and then the baby was crying so you know right now i'm shooting a video not my normal spot i'm up in a hidden away in a guest room right now with the lighting's bad trying to shoot a video so i just i try to be as open as i can you know transparent in what we do we definitely don't have a life like i used to when i was younger and all i focused on was was getting in shape and you know i focused on i was going to get my meal in no matter what everything else was going to be you know a priority behind that it was just getting in shape so you know in life if if you're not where you know the people in the magazines are where they can devote you know getting a nap every day where they can make sure they get seven meals in a day they can work out every single day you know you actually have a life that you have to do you have a full-time job you have kids you have dogs yeah you have things that you have to get in that's a priority above you know being in shape and, and your health however you completely value your health i think you know we want to help you get to the other side quicker so if you can learn from our pain and our experiences and instead of you know when it took us maybe three years to get there if you can pick up on a few things and it helps you to get to the the, the other side and six months through our pain and our suffering what we learned that's what we want to do so we want to you know we also work with competitors but you know the main people we just want to work with help people that they want an overall balanced happy life relationship love and connection they want their health they want that body that they've always thought about you know they want to be the top at the top level at their business or whatever they do career um, they just want everything that's the type of people that i'm really trying to, to bring the message to and reach out to and touch so um, if you have any other questions any other topics you you'd like for my next video to to focus on um, reach out to us jnkfitonline at gmail.com um, you can also go to our website, jnkfit.com, and you reach us there. Take a look at our website. Let us know what you think. But, uh, you know, once again, thank you for taking the time. I know eight minutes is a lot sometimes, but thank you for taking the time. I hope you can apply a few of these things, and it, it makes your day and your life a little bit easier and a little bit more enjoyable. And once again, we view your success as our success. Thanks a lot.